I'm the best healer on the planet. My hands are magic. I do the most amazing intuitive healing massage. I'm renowned all over the world. I live in Marrakesh. I've been to Glastonbury Festival. I've been on stage with Van Morrison, chanting. I've been with the Kooks, I've been with Dizzy Rascal, they all know me. And I now live in Brighton, I've been here for about 14 years. And I've probably effectively massaged and healed, in 22 years, probably about a million people. Yeah, I do mass healings at festivals as well. There could possibly be about 20, 30 people that all need massage. So I kind of circle them, put them in a circle, lay them all down, do a holistic chanting and kind of start a, a, the, the process of, of clearing out and cleansing. I'll do a chant for you now. That's her chant, that's a holistic sounding that's Gandharvic and it kind of pushes out, as you see the kids come around because they really like it as well. And what it does, it kind of pushes out any bad energies in people's spirit and kind of cleanses them. And chanting is very, very important. It has been important in my life for 22 years. Did you like it, guys? Yeah. If you ask the kids, they'll say to you it's amazing, so that it's something that's a clearing. Okay, see you later, guys. Oh no, there's this... The crazy man coming down again. <laughs> no, but this man's crazy. He's preaching the, the, the name of God really loudly. This guy here, this African man, I think he's a lunatic. I, I study physics, quantum physics. It's, it's more like quantum. It's, it's quantum mechanics, yeah. And the quantum mechanics of, of, of well, my field of, of study, it really pertains to the whole kind of conceptual understanding of moon versus womb, and um, i.e. If, if a lady's actually wombing, that means she's about to um, have her menstrual cycle and the moon is waning rather than waxing, and lots of different things can start to take into play, i.e. emotional distress, gah, cracking up, throwing, throwing saucepans at her husband's head. Because the, the moon's waning, you see, so she's reacting to that. So the physics of, of my study of physics is actually alongside the Holistia. UFOs, extraterrestrial intelligence, aliens, shape-shifting lizards are walking within us. David Icke said it, 1963, they all thought he was mad, they laughed at him. Now they're not laugh laughing at David Icke because it's now in 19, uh, uh, 2009. And they're not laughing at David Icke now because what he said was true. Well, Hello, she's talking the truth. Say it again, babe. George Bush. I don't, I've Did you hear that? She said George time. Bush. That's, I've seen... So carry on, darling. <laughs> No, no, I need support, so that's my yeah, chance. I need, do you I hear agree, what she's saying? I agree. She's agreeing with me because you know why? She's a younger generation and she knows George, Jeff, George Bush is a what? Lizard. So you think the royal family are... I don't think I know. Actually started with Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was the first person to start this hybriding of DNA off. He actually had UFOs hidden under his place. He actually rescued aliens took in their DNA, hybrided it with, 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 with a human being um, DNA and started the, 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 the emotion to process. Here we have at the moment, as I speak to you, what I'm actually really upset about, all joking aside, it's beginning to you know, really piss me off, um, is we have these things called chemical, chemical trials in the atmosphere. Basically, they're full of aluminum. They're full of... Does everyone know there's, there's chemtrails in the atmosphere? That's what they are, that's chemtrails. Trying to do a one world government, they want a one world new order by putting this stuff into the atmosphere to actually make us all feel very unhappy. Does anyone know what a chemtrail is? Does anyone want to know? Well, that's a chemtrail up there, do you know what it is? It's aluminum phosphate metal larvae. You know sometimes you, you wake up in the morning you see masses of lines all over the sky. 
Have you ever noticed? No. Start to look. I was brought up in a place called Kennington in South London. My parents, well, my mum and dad were quite poor. My mum was really young and she met my dad and he was really young. My dad's kind of like, comes from a bit of a gangster's family. Most of my cousins and uncles and my family are actually all gangsters. And I used to live with my nan. I looked after my nan. I used to have to carry my nan in my arms when I was 15 because she was really ill and, um, and feed her and stuff. And the same with my granddad. Um, so it's a very poor, very kind of big, massive family of, of cousins and uncles. Really neurotic and, and completely off their heads, to be honest. By the way, I was also I met my first love when I was. Um, I met my first love when I was 11. So now, now I'm older and I'm re educated myself. It's made me realise it took a lot of my life away because for eight years of my life I stayed with that guy. He tormented me quite a lot and I, was, I kind of felt like I was in a, imprisoned in this relationship. So I never really had much freedom. I've always been kind of, as a Piscean, always someone comes along and grabs me and says, OK, you're coming with me and you've got to do this. So I had like eight years of my, of my life taken away up until the age of 17 when my nan died. One day I went to see my dad, who was in uh, the old Kent Road, and I said, Dad, I need some money, I'm going away. He gave me £200 in the late 70s with quite a lot of money, and then I just left. And I went to France, Italy, and travelled around Europe on my own. This is where I live. This is my healing, these are my healing hands. If I wanted to, I could, sit, I could sit down with somebody and hold their hand as soon as we've connected physically. Um, yes, I could, I could possibly read their thoughts and see, see whether they need any help. Do you need, a, do you need any help, babe? Do you want a massage?